I love my 12-step brothers and sisters. What they're doing is brave and courageous and spiritually ambitious and beautiful. What are they doing? Well, some of them are choosing to um, rebel against their, their, uh, the tyranny of poisonous, addictive substances that are illicit, while others are choosing to, to break the tyranny, break the control that poisonous, uh, of poisonous, addictive substances that, while not illegal, are definitely controlled. Whether um, they're addicted to stuff that's legal or legal, illegal or illegal, totally support my 12-step brothers and sisters in their sobriety, in their freedom from the tyranny of addictive substances. My heart, my enthusiasm goes out to them. But there's something missing from their program. The typical pattern, if you will, is to exchange illicit or at least controlled addictive poisonous substances for those that are merely over-the-counter. For instance, nicotine, caffeine, sugar, and sugar substitutes. Friends, I gotta tell you, these things are addictive, these things are poisonous, and these things, believe it or not, can endanger one's sobriety. My 12-step friends have told me about the acronym HALT. H-A-L-T, and I'm told that stands for Hungry, Angry, Lonely, Tired. And it was explained to me that our physiological states and our emotional states have a huge bearing on our, uh, the impulses of our addictions. And that one of the ways to ensure sobriety is to keep a sharp eye on your states, both your physiological states and your emotional states, and take care of them correctly. Well, anyone can tell you, nicotine, which is an amphetamine, is not going to give you the even keel you want. Neither is caffeine, neither is sugar, nor sugar substitutes. Now listen, don't take my word for this. Experiment. You know, at the beginning of the next month, Go cold turkey on nicotine, caffeine, sugar, and sugar substitutes. For 72 hours, you will hate me. <laughs> but by the end of the fourth week, you will be so glad you cut those out of your life. You will um, be free. You will experience even greater freedom from the physiological and emotional impulses that could threaten your sobriety. So the test of whether a substance is good for us or bad for us is not whether it's illegal or controlled or over the counter. No, it's, it is, is it addictive? Is it a poison? Does it contribute to joy and love and peace and clarity? Or does it create emotional and physiological upheaval, even subtle ones? Try it. You'll like it.